Okay, we'll be talking about the square root of binomial sort. How can we find the square root of binomial sort? As I've explained what binomial sort means earlier. I'll be using an illustration to explain this so we will be able to understand it. Let's assume we're given root a plus root b whole square. The square this is equal to root a plus root b times root a plus root b. Now expand this. If you're going to be expanding this, that will be root a times root a, root a square plus root a times root b, root a b plus root b times root a, root a b for uniformity, root b times root b, root b square. Here, you have your what? What is the square root of a square? That's a plus this will give us root a b plus root a b will give us two root a b plus square root of this square b. Now you have your answer to be a plus b plus two root a b from where? From now I'll be using this to explain how we are going to be going up through looking for the square root of. Um, binomial sort. Now, look at this. The square of root a plus root b will give us a plus b plus 2 root a b. Meaning, this is a rational number. When you add a plus, you have a rational number. And this is sort. Now, which means when you have um, the square of two um, binomial sorts, you are uh, you get a rational number plus a sort. Now, how do we now look for a square root? Note this: the square root of this this value, the square root, will give us one of this binomial sort, and this is what I mean to give us root a plus root b. The square root of this will give us root a plus root b. This means the square of root a plus root b will definitely give us this. Now, how are we going to be using this illustration to be solving the square root of binomial sort? Now, I'm going to be using some examples to explain it properly. Just understand, we have square root of a plus square root of b all square will give us a whole number and what a sort. And this is it. Now, the square root of this value is root a plus b. Now, whenever we have any binomial sort and we have to look for a square root, we equate it to the square, this. We equate it to this, root a plus root b all square to get the answer. Now, I'm going to be using this example. Example, find the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10. It's some fun, some react. So how can I go about looking for the square root of this? Now, let's solve. This is how we go about it. You bring down the binomial sort 7 plus 2 root 10. We are looking for the square root. will be equal to a plus root b all squared. Now, notice something. One of this is the square root of this. But we have to square it to be able to get the square root of this binomial sort. Now, let's keep rolling. Now, you have your 7. 7 plus 2 root 10 is equal to, this will give us what? A plus B plus 2 root AB. Do you remember? Now, with this, you can do something. You can compare the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Now, look at this. This is a whole number. A rational number and our rational number here is seven and this is a sort value then another sort value is two root ten now let's compare compare left hand side with right hand side now what do you have you have what a plus b is equal to seven now let's call this equation one now look at the second value this is two root ten 
this is also two root AB. You have two root 10 is equal to two root AB. Now, equally, two cancel two, and this will be what the square root will go off to. Then you have well, you have AB is equal to 10 equation 2. Now, here, this is now what? Simultaneous equation. We have to look for the value of A and B. Now, let's continue. From equation 1, A plus B is equal to 7. Then A is equal to 7 minus, let's call this equation 3. Now, we have to substitute the value for A from that equation 3. You know, uh, A is 7 minus B. Now, we substitute it into equation 2. What's in equation 2? Equation 2, we have A, B is equal to 10. What's our value for A? Our value for A from equation 3 is 7 minus B. Then you have what? 7 minus B times B is equal to 10. Then you have... 7b minus b squared is equal to 10. And what do you have? This is becoming a quadratic equation. And you have what? You have 10 plus b squared minus 7b is equal to 0. Now, let's rearrange. You have your b squared minus 7b plus 10 is equal to zero. Now, this is a quadratic equation. How do we go about quadratic equation? Now, see my video on quadratic equation. You'll be able to work this out, but I'll just go straight to how we are going to get our final answer for the square root of binomial sort. Now, you look for two factors of which when you multiply those two factors, it will be equal to the multiplication of this coefficient of b squared and 10. Now, meaning when you have when you add the factors, you have minus 7. When you multiply product, the two factors, you have plus 10. What are these two factors? Now, from 10, we should be able to have like 5 and 2. Now, when you add minus 5, minus 2, you have what? Minus 7. When you multiply minus 5 times minus 2, you have what? plus 10. Now we have the two factors. The two factors are minus 5 and minus 2. Now you bring it in into this equation. Let me call this equation 4. You bring it in into equation 4. You have your b square minus 2b minus 5b plus 10 is equal to 0. Now you factorize it. You have your what? B, B minus 2, minus 5, B minus 2, is equal to 0. Now, if you see my video on quadratic equation, you understand this better. Now, finally, you have what? B minus 5, B minus 2, is equal to 0. From here, we have B minus 2, is equal to you have b minus 5 is equal to 0 whereby b minus 2 is equal to 0 or b minus b minus 5 is equal to 0 now what will be the value for b b will be equal to 2 or b is equal to 5. Now we have two values for b. The two values for b is 2 or 5. Now, having gotten the value for b to be 2, that's, um, we have to look for what the value of a would be. Now from equation 3, our a is equal to 7 minus b. Now, when b when b is equal to 2, A is equal to what? 5. Now, when B is equal to 5, A is equal to what? A is equal to 2. 
Now, I haven't gotten our what our a and b to be 2 or 5. Now, we can equally look, find the square root of our 7 plus 2 root 10. And what will be the square root of, uh, of 7? The square root will be square root of root b plus root, uh, root a. And now, for us to get that, now finally, the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 will give us root a plus root b. Since a is either 2 or 5 and b is either 2 or 5, which means we can just pick one of it. We can pick when b is equal to five, uh, 2, a is equal to 5. Uh, then we have our final answer to be root 5 plus root 2. Meaning the square root of 2 root 10, square root of this, the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 is equal to what? Root 5 plus root 2. I believe you are able to get up the way I saw this. Now, you can still replay it for you to understand how you can look for the square root of binomial sort. We share other ways. More examples will be coming soon. Just stay tuned. Thank you.